Uh-huh. Holy shit. Oh, hold up. Uh-huh. Make sure this isn't still private. Wait, I'm gonna do some Cody. Initial. Um, one second. Uh, Donald fucking, oh my god. This shit is too funny. Ha! <laughs> Alright, where's the... This is the program I use right here. Boom, done. All you do is select something. Holy shit. Damn. And all there is Snapcam. Uh, I've never even used Snapchat, to be honest. Like, literally. <clears throat> literally. But, oh my gosh, it's funny as shit. Yeah. And so I can auto green screen type stuff in. So, let me show this one real quick. This one's tight. And it does like a portrait view. I don't, I don't I obviously don't have a green screen. That is just a virtual background. See my hand disappears. He's gonna throw the Yeah. Very sweet. This one's dope too. Reacts with your mouth, of course. Hot key it. Yeah. This one's oh this one's tight. Um just gotta watch it. The mask it doesn't really fit, but here we go. I'm just doing that hot key in it. <laughs> that shit's tight. I keep telling people about it, but like no one I don't know. I don't think no one's like checked it out and it's like it's free. There's a watermark on it if you take a photo or a video, but you can see on my camera, I mean you can just crop that. Not even crop it, just like this. <sighs> if you open your mouth they do certain things. Where are my favorites at? Shit. <clears throat> oh, uh, that's just funny as hell. Because I said, fuck Donald Trump. Speaking as himself. My shit live, man? I honestly don't know. Because I said it public because it was messing up. I want to watch this real quick. Okay, okay, it's on the damn poster. See, boom. Smack it over. Because <laughs> I guarantee a lot of people probably think it's like face mask I'm using, and it's like, no. This is a free program. What is wrong with my ish? It's like, my router's crap. Well, I know that, but my phone will not connect. I mean, it'll connect, but it's just crap. So, fuckers. Tax network, yeah, you know, it's, it's a fucking deal. Alright, um, play this, I wanna. After the weekend, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering exactly why he chose Mixer over Twitch. Obviously, money has played a huge factor in this. When he announced this, though, the timing of this announcement, I, I honestly thought maybe some more merch, some more apparel, maybe a partnership, maybe a partnership with a big merch company out there to drop his new line. I had no clue this was coming, along with, I'm sure, many of you guys out there. It will be Ninja officially leaving Twitch and going to Mixer exclusively. And you also get, let me turn this damn thing off. You also get, I actually was looking on Mixer, I was messing with the interactive, uh, William, hello, what's up man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just checking this out, yeah, I need to, even though I have the chat embedded on my screen on OBS, and it's like, I forget that it's there, but yeah, Donald Trump in it, uh, that's just too damn funny. But, yeah, I'm checking this out real quick, and I was going to just play some, actually, actually play some games on Cody, but I show a lot of Xbox stuff, and unfortunately, can't do it on Xbox because of Microsoft's licensing, it's, they do not allow emulators, and that's what it is. PC works without a hitch, 10 terabytes of games, literally 10,000 gigabytes of games, since... See the 
this shit. I know this may come as a shock to me. Oh, no, no, no. I make sure everyone gets a free subscription to him and everything. This is... Many of you, but... I think you like one today, something billion. I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. <laughs> I really wouldn't worry too much about my win loss ratio. I'll be just fine. The damn tree, the bush. He's Steve, just a... The button. Steve. I love how he's the same age as me, so he has... He doesn't looks way younger. And so with all that being said, like I said before, guys, more questions and more answers will continue to come in, hopefully by the end of the weekend. I'll break them down for all of you guys. I think the main thing we have to be wondering, with his declining Twitch viewership, he was still one of the best That's streamers cool. on Twitch, especially when it comes to Fortnite. So how big was this deal? How many multiple millions did it take to actually take this exclusive oh, deal shit. from Mixer? And, uh, of course, leaving Twitch permanently. And how this will factor into, of course, him playing, though, with his Twitch buddies. That's the main question I think I have for this going forward. Forward is because Twitch squads and trios and duos have been a pretty big part of the Fortnite scene. It's a giant question mark when he actually did that stream. Right. I think it was actually from D. I know, I'd slap him. There were a few issues like, going back and forth. So with this exclusive deal, how will that affect him? I'll bring this guy out. He'll smack. No, I'd slap this guy too. Does. Hopefully not gonna I can't do impressions, but yeah. yeah fuck this one, man. I like this. I tell everyone about this damn program. I take tons of videos. I well not on YouTube. I haven't done a video of it. But it's literally free. And you can make you can make your own lenses. It's sick. Yeah. Change my eyes too, that's sweet. I look all like Alright, context and where's that one at? Hold on. This one's pretty sweet too. Bastard. Oh, it does pour. Okay, that's tight. I thought it was just like sitting there. That's sweet. I'm keeping that on there. People are like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was just cutting my eyelids like a dick. Can affect them in too many manners, and how, of course, will this affect the future? I was just curious. If I don't watch Ninja, but I did sub to him because you get a free, uh, yeah. For limited time, subscribe to Ninja's channel for free. You get Black emotes. Much less established in Twitch. There's no comparison between Mixer and Twitch. There's no comparison this guy's all hyped between up. Twitch and any platform out there. I have depression, so everyone's hyped up to me. Fans will actually go to a brand new platform where they can't simply Obviously, go dude. and see all their other favorite streamers as uh, well. I know it seems like it's all common sense. Type in a new it is. Address, but we've seen this deter a lot of viewers. In the will past. his viewers go or won't they? Will they choose or won't they? Is this a sign of desperation? Is this a sign for just need yeah, shock fight? No. Alright, bro. You're gone. Peace the fuck out. Okay, Cody. Let's get into it. Is anyone even watching? Like, my viewers, I don't... I don't call out anyone. I've always... Best, I'm against that. 100%. But I do this viewer thing. Pop up. Okay, three people are watching. Okay. I just want it because I don't want to... I mean, I still talk no matter what. Where's my... I'm going to show... You cannot do this on the Xbox, unfortunately. Because... Um, in the description, because, okay, they do not allow emulators. Cody has a built-in emulator called a Retro Player. You can use Retro Arc. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, I already have it installed. Focus my shit. I'm going to plug in an Xbox controller and not do any configuration and show that that is legit. It works off the bat. And this is my build. It's okay, honestly, it's Cody 18.3, and I used. Shit. And, uh, I can look at the skin. It's not. I don't have any backgrounds except for games. I put. It's just a revolving thing. But um, in the description, at the very bottom. I love that picture. At the very bottom. <clears throat> turn this thing off. People are bringing me all freaked out. Like, what the hell is kids? Make my. Oh, whoops, whoops. All right. Um. Yeah. What's up, Peach? That Peach bat. Um. Yeah. But for instance, if you wanted to install on your PC, you would do it any like you would download it. I forgot the URL and I cannot find it. I don't know why it's like gone. 
but this skin it's not how I usually show stuff where you go up to the cog and go to here but you go to add-ons enable the add-on of course install from zip file and then you go to your hard drive the hell is mine at and then the zip file is in the website down below in the description that shows you how it explains everything and in a little bit more also if you want to use uh RetroArch. It's right here. Click that. <clears throat> Click OK. And it will install it. It's called the Zach Morris repository. Literally that is it. Show it right here. Okay, all right. it's this is the add-on that you actually play the games. You can okay, you can go to this website. You can go to it's like internetarchive.com and play all the damn games. Because what I'm showing is not illegal. And I'm not ripping the ROMs off of nowhere. They're not coming. It's all hosted legally. But check this out. Watch how many damn games. I'm not even joking with people when I say 10 terabytes. That's what it's. That's what it lists. Um, yeah, let's just do browse all lists. I'll show you Game Boy Advance. There's 1900. All right, first, here's the consoles. There's 86 consoles up here. Number, page, one of 13. So. And they all work except off the bat Nintendo 64 shit I want to say PS1 they have problems but with RetroArch they do not I mean look at all this Commodore 64 that's like an old ass computer Doom obviously not an emulator but I mean, it's name it. That's what I'm talking about. It's like PS1 is the highest um, graphically enhanced game, like type thing you're gonna use. You know, you know, I have like Xbox or nothing. Meme, that's good. Holy shit! This I must add that by default when I was adding yeah, Nintendo DS, Nintendo Pokemon. What the hell? That thing's like, well, put that in my damn palm. The virtual boy, that thing would blow your eyes the hell out. I never played it, but I seen it on, I think it was Pawn Stars, and like, they somehow showed through the thing, and I was like, yeah, I'd be blind within an hour. But, what the hell? I'm gonna have to look that up. I've never knew. That's a game console? Are you shitting me? Okay. Some of these I don't know at all. Scum VM, that's like a virtual machine, I think, for you say it goes, of course. Windows 3.1, I believe it is, or X, but I've never used that either. That's, I think, the operating system. Um, I'm going to do Super Nintendo, or Nintendo. Well, I'll show you Game Boy Advance. There's 1,900 damn games, not even joking. One big list, watch this. And at the top here, 19 and 1. One of 272 pages, and look at this. Plug in my regular Xbox. Well, it's an Afterglow PDP. It's just, it's, everyone knows I'm an LED freak, so. Gotta have LEDs, literally. All I do is plug it in. Not doing nothing else. That is it. You just use your D-pad, X, Y. I'll even hold up to show I don't do nothing else. Let's see. Some might not all work, but let's, I don't want to do the two in ones. I mean, they have every damn. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's like holy shit. Um. I don't know what the hell. I know those are probably popular games in Naro or whatever. I don't. I'm not familiar. Alright, let's get beat up with some BMX. Just play. You can just control it up and down. Select A. And here's the thing on the computer, you can. You will have to download the game every time because it's stored in your cache. If anyone can uh, let me, 
I loud enough? If I'm not loud enough, please let me know. Or if there's any, I'm, I'm a generally quiet speaker, so I have depression. I'm not, oh, oh my god, you know, I'm monotone, so. But you can set it to where the, you do not have to download them each time. It'll store the um, game in your system. Um, but yeah, you just, you press C, C, successfully downloaded, and left and right, and we're going to launch it. And this right here, these are the available emulators. I usually go with ones I just familiar, like this is Visual Boy, yeah, Visual Boy Advance, and then to me, just off top of the head, it's like, well, this is not a Visual Boy Advance. This is GBA Game Boy Advance, so this is what I use, and look at that, boom, shit works. Obviously, it looks a little bit crappy, but yeah, and if you move, like I'm, I move my mouse to my second screen just now. I'm gonna resize my, my uh, webcam. You can s one second. You can see in here that it turned the thing off. Settings. Um, you have a filter. You can go smooth, but as you can see, it. it on OBS, it looks better than what I'm seeing. Honestly, I gotta keep it unpixelated. You can stretch it because obviously it is like you know black bars but it looks like shit and it's stretched volume same controls so if you did have another controller that you had to like set up or pair because you can use ps4 uh, i think damn near anything you can set all that up in here map it advanced settings honestly i don't know hle bios emulation um has to do something with the emulator, obviously, but it could. The only BIOSes are for PlayStation, and like it specifically asks, "Where's the BIOS file?" But it's all good. All right. Look at how far we've came. I'm looking at this like... Am I gonna be able to see? Where's Dave Mir at, man? Besides in his own damn game. Damn, this is loud in my ear. Hold on. Apologize for the stopping. It's just. It does it by itself and, uh. Right. I gotta change some stuff. So, okay. Up and down to move. Up and well, Left, right, up or down to move. Up and down to turn used to be plus to right on verts and quarter pipes to go over. I already forgot what I said. Oh my god, look at this shit. I can't believe I've never put. Oh yeah, it's Game Boy Advance. some tricks what's up okay this has some I can dig this shit come on man do 540 get your ass spinning
was it? Right in A or right in B? I can't get over. It won't go. Oh, so buttons mapped to a weird ass location. Oh, fuck this game. I just want to show this stuff works. Alright, let's try something else. Oh my god. Probably skanks by now. <laughs> oh, what's it? Oh, shit. Should I just launch it? So yeah, like I was saying, I mean, there's 1,900 games just for the Game Boy Advance, and there's 82 consoles, so there's game others with more. There's 10 terabytes, period. That's what it says. By the, the, the developer, so... White building looks so damn smooth. I've never played it this either.
These games are flawless. And it's like... Pretty solid. I mean, going right on the website, like I was saying, um... It's like, internet... The Internet Archive, Internet Archive, something like that, and you can... Play... Oh, shit. Sounds... Damn good, too. Let's go! It's me, it's me, it's Mario! Chewing up. It's like 20 and get my ass beat. Now you're up. Well, this is Game Boy Advance. Super Nintendo actually looks pretty damn decent. I was trying it, uh, I forgot. Yesterday? So yeah, you see Game Boy Advance works. Literally, I mean, I mean, there's a Japanese game, I believe. I mean, there's 1,901. It's insane. And like these, um, because that's what it, the website Internet Archive, best of, so not best. Best of is not part of the website, but best of like arcade, best of blah blah blah. So this, as I was just showing, Game Boy Advance. Let's see, this, the last one that was the main one. This is like I don't know, like a top fifty, top one hundred or something. Yeah, okay, fifty. I've actually never even played Zelda, Pokemon. Oh my god. I've never played that. This Ruby. Uh, Add my favorites. Shit. I wonder if. Let's see. I'm gonna try. How is it? No. Oh, other way. Nintendo DS. I'm pretty sure the DS works. I mean, so I haven't tried like meme, you know. I've tried PlayStation One once, and actually, I you got it to work without the BIOS file because sometimes you need it. Um, Sega Game Boy Color, or just Game Boys. Uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure like, there's something on the website in the it's at the very very bottom of the description in this video something that's this doesn't work correctly well no matter what you have to map the damn buttons all right so let's see how many games you're in this pretty sure this works I've never heard anything that it doesn't Holy shit, 4,654, oh my god. Wow. And as you can see, there's totally Japanese or... No, no offense to anyone, I just don't know. Japanese, Chinese... Um, 665 pages, holy ish. 
That's insane. Like these are all the holy shiz. Really? Fuck out of here. Look at this shit. Eric, can get fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Press P to fuck. I want to see this Pokemon. That's insane, dude. Holy shit. So, I mean, and anything depending on the skin. The skin is just the layout and everything. Usually in the top left, the number. This is everything, you know, what you've been through in the pages total. Holy shit, man. Alright. But do they work? I just want to find something like um okay. Let's get my ass kicked. It'd be dope if it works, cause uh, the only thing with like these games, like the older game, the the newer type systems, like not retro retro is they take up more space so like <clears throat> i was saying at the beginning of the stream how you can set it so your cat it caches to your pc so that way you don't have to re-download the damn thing every time you have this make up you know a bigger cache but you just press c or on the fire sticks it's a, the menu the context menu c on the keyboard the guide button you know something like that and then out of these uh, I've used this by itself, Desmium, whatever, emulator, it's actually really good. Um, but, it, shoot, this should work completely, because I'm familiar with this one. So I've never played Pokemon on Nintendo DS, and I would actually like to. What's it saving for? Yeah, buddy. Fucking cords, man. What the hell games that? I don't even remember what game I picked. Fuck. Oh, Black Ops. Maybe I should, I should download it first, it's taking sweet ass time. I don't know if I have to... Oh, what? You shitting me, man? I'm gonna have to, yeah, you have to remap these, I think. Shit. I can't I can't even do anything. This comes up and you can do this but it's a dual screen, I forgot about that. Damn it. Whatever. It can be done though, I know that. Oh they they all the call of duties. I get the hell out of. Oops. So I just want to show that you know I've never shown this before, and people have asked me. Well, it's mostly people ask me because I show Xbox Cody stuff, but um, Microsoft just won't, doesn't. It's in their licensing or whatever. They don't allow emulators, so because of what they can do, even though Cody can do what it does but that's no, that's different um yeah so i just want to show that you know it actually show it number one because i've never shown it and then show that yeah you can play the damn games and there's a shit ton like all right let's see how many games there are for genesis let's see a couple hundred five hundred a thousand i would say a thousand first is in my head but i was like no that's nuts. 
fuck was that? Okay. Super Nintendo, I think there's a couple, it's like 2000 maybe? Eight. Two thousand one hundred fifty two. Damn. But yeah, as you can see there's tons of stuff. Literally tons of stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show again show, you know, the in an archive game launcher add on. And in the description I showed at the beginning of the video what you have to do. Essentially, you know, through Cody soften zip file then you select your uh hard drive whichever one it's on because you have to be on a pc i'm sure uh android all that works you might use retroarch literally on your android device you know um basically everything except xbox if it can pull run cody it can do this because this pulls it from the internet archive website which you can watch movies, TV shows, there's books, ebooks, games, name it. But, you know, it's all older stuff. But yeah, I figured I'd show this to you guys. Um, yeah, I will, I'm actually going to do, I don't have a, this is not a build or anything. I just put a skin and put backgrounds for the games and I deleted some shit off the menus. Delete some stuff off the menus, and so if you click, I mean, there's no nothing in there. Okay, I download like this Apple Podcast or whatever, and fuck whatever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And very, 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 very bottom of the description is the website. It tells you everything about this. You can even tells you how to hook up RetroArch also if you want to run it like that. So full walkthrough on there. I just wanted to show that it does in fact work. You can in fact play games and it does in fact have a crap ton of games. So thank you everyone who stopped by. Uh, William commented. Thank you. Appreciate it. Rarely talk to you guys but appreciate it. Peter McMaster. Thank you also. Anyone else who watched that may have not spoken etc. and so forth. I also still appreciate it. Does it matter to me about chatting and whatnot? I mean, if you want to chat, you know, you're more than welcome to. But I just want to chill and hang out or whatever. I'm not going to call. I mean, I don't do that. I call people out, and I just that's against. That. No, I don't do that. But yes, have a good one. Take care, and see you later.